We can use different types of charts and graphs to help us record and analyze data. Pictographs, frequency tables, bar graphs, and line plots are all different types of graphs. Let's take a closer look at each one. A pictograph is a type of table that keeps track of the number of objects using pictures. Let's say we have 20 candy hearts. We can set up a chart to create a pictograph. I have the colors of the hearts on the left side and a space to record the number of each color on the right. Now I'm going to count how many of each color heart I have. Let's start with green. One, two, three, Four. I have four green candy hearts. I'm going to use green hearts to record the number of green candy hearts on my pictograph. One, two, three, four. Now let's count how many white candy hearts we have. One, two. We'll use white hearts on our pictograph. One, two. We have one, two, three yellow candy hearts. One, two, three yellow hearts on the pictograph. We have two orange candy hearts. One, two, three, four pink candy hearts. And one, two, three, four, five purple candy hearts. Now my pictograph shows exactly how many of each color heart I have. A frequency table is similar to a pictograph, except it uses tally marks to keep track of the number of objects instead of pictures. Once again, I set up a chart with the color of the hearts on the left and a space to record the number on the right. I count my hearts. I still have four green candy hearts, but this time I'm going to use tally marks like this. One, two, three, four. There, that shows four green candy hearts. Two white candy hearts would be recorded with two tally marks. Three yellow, two orange, four pink, and five purple. When I get up to five tally marks, I have to do something kind of special. The fifth tally mark goes diagonally across the group of four, like this, to make a group of five. This makes tally marks easier to count. Now, if I had more than five purple hearts, let's say I had seven, I would then start a new group with my tally marks like this. But I only have five. A bar graph is a type of graph that uses the height of rectangles to show the number of each object. So this time I have a graph set up. Along the bottom I have the different colors of candy hearts and along the left side I have the number. So I'm going to be using rectangular bars to show how many of each color heart I have. I still have four green candy hearts. So my bar for green is going to reach up to the line labeled four. I have two white, so I'll fill in up to the two, three yellow, so I'll fill in up to the three. My bar for orange is going to be too high. For pink, I have four. It's the same height as green because I have four of each. And for purple, it's going to reach all the way up to the five. And finally, line plots are a type of graph that uses X's to show the number of each object. So I have a line along the bottom labeled with the different colors, green, white, yellow, orange, pink, and purple. And a line plot is always gonna have a key. And this key tells me that one X equals one candy heart. But you always have to pay attention to the key because sometimes an X could be worth two candy hearts or even 10 candy hearts. And that makes a big difference when you're analyzing this graph. All right, I still have four green candy hearts, so I'm going to add four X's, one X for each of the green candy hearts. I have two white, so I need two X's above white, three X's above yellow to show my three yellow hearts, 
two above the orange, four X's above the pink, and finally five X's above the purple. We can use the information in a chart or graph to interpret data. We can answer all kinds of questions using this data. Let's take a look at some. How many candy hearts are pink? I'm using a pictograph to answer this question. So I can look at pink in my chart and I see that next to it there are four pink hearts. So I know that there are four pink candy hearts. Here's another question. How many candy hearts are either white or yellow? Well, this time I need to consider the number of white hearts, that's two I can see in this frequency table, and the number of yellow hearts, which is three. To find the number of candy hearts that are, that are either white or yellow, I need to add the white and the yellow hearts together. Five candy hearts are either white or yellow according to this frequency table. Let's answer this question using a bar graph. What is the most common candy heart color? Well, that's easy to see with a bar graph. The tallest bar is going to be the number I had the most of, or the most common candy heart color. I can look at this bar graph and see that the bar for purple is the tallest. That means I had the most purple candy hearts. It was the most common color of candy heart, purple. Now let's answer a question using a line plot. How many more green candy hearts are there than orange? How many more usually suggests that I need to subtract. I can see that I have more green candy hearts. Four green candy hearts, in fact, and less orange candy hearts. I only have two orange candy hearts. So to figure out how many more green, I can set up a subtraction problem. 4 minus 2 equals 2. I have two more green candy hearts than I do orange.